I'm not even ready to do this video, but let's go. Get busy in here, get busy in here. Yeah, my squad run deep. Yeah, we really in here. I swear, whatever you want, you can get it in here. Comedy or the drama, it's a mixture in here. But you love it in here. Yeah, you love it in here. Got reviews up in here. We got stories in here. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell. Oh, yeah. Three clicks like the shoes on Dorothy in here. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Busy Blue, and I am Black with another Busy Blue and Associates morning meeting. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know that you're in here. Here at Busy Blue and Associates, you all work for me, and I talk about hot topics, gossip, and news that I think is interesting. And if you think you have something interesting, you can always send it to me um, at Busy Blue, no space, no E. Um, on Instagram and on Twitter, the way that you log in and you clock in is that you say good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Y'all, let me say a couple of things that I need to address. The first one is YouTube. What y'all doing? And why y'all doing me like that? I've even had other YouTubers who been reaching out to me saying like they not playing your videos and your numbers aren't counting for real, for real. Cause I was in that live and I used to be feeling that way. And the only thing person I would talk to is Tay Bay. And I'd be like, something ain't right. Like sometimes it, I, I have more likes than YouTube will show views. How sway? And it's getting really concerning. I mean, if this was my main source of income, I'll be really mad. But it's not. <laughs> Speaking of, I got to get to that job. Um, but but because it's not, I don't really be pressed, be pressed, be pressed like that. But it really is concerning to me. Um, and the reason I brought this up, because y'all know in the beginning of these videos, we always do company business, right? And somebody said they brought Rosé. Today is a drink at the job day. Y'all are y'all are allowed to have a cocktail today in the back. Okay. Y'all know I posted a video the other time, the other um morning. Um, and shout out to the daddy um with the um little girl named Dylan, right? And in some way, shape, or form. Dylan's daddy found me like immediately that morning. And Dylan's daddy was like, hey, thank you so much for posting um, my my daughter. But I just want to make let you know that, you know, you misgender her um, and get it right. And he didn't say it like that. He was he was actually very nice. He was a very nice man. And I like I look. Come on, daddy. Let me not call that man daddy. He probably started watching my videos and this is inappropriate. But, you know, you you know, you lust after a man who takes care of the children. But um, and shout out to Dylan's daddy, and uh, I apologize again. I already said it, but for uh, misgendering, misgendering Dylan, um, the daughter. Um, but I, I was, I was thinking to myself, nah, did you find it, how you saw the video, and YouTube be trying to act like nobody saw the video? It just, it, it's really bothersome to me. Thank God I do it for y'all because I really do love y'all and I love talking to y'all. Sometimes I be having the worst days, and y'all bring my day up so much. Um, Because we all crazy, and we love it here. But YouTube, get it together. The daddy of the person who wrote the, um, the daddy of the, um, the Cheeto Bandit was able to find me, but you're like, oh, two views, 119 likes. It don't make no sense to me. But I'm going I'm to get out of that. I normally do this in another video, but I really want to see what this is. So y'all put your bees in the comments for yourself for being here. We ain't going to be here long, I say. Um, but y'all, I got a gift in the mail. A gift in the mail. I got a gift in the mail. Busy got a gift in the mail. He got a gift in the mail. A gift in the mail. I got a gift in the mail. Busy got a gift in the mail. I got a gift. In a mail, a gift. In a mail, I got a gift. In a mail, busy got a gift. In a mail, he got a gift. In a mail, a gift. In a mail, I got a gift. In a mail, busy got a gift. In the mail, all right.
Um, so shout out to whoever sent me this um gift. I normally do this in a whole nother video, but I want to see what it was. And if you want to give me a gift in the mail, I put it in every description box. You can always see what I want and you can click on it on my Amazon wish list. It's basic stuff that I like, and you get it for me. Huh. Y'all know what I need to put on there? B love smack alicious sauce. I got sauce. All right. Magalish. It's a vinyl of a deal's twenty one. My vinyl collection is popping. Who bought this for me? This says, enjoy your gift. 21, help me reinvent myself. Come on. They'll play it to, to, uh, to this day. Love you both, the Vanna. Y'all put your Bs in the comments for Vanna. What's up, Vanna? I was talking about, well, I wasn't talking about this album uh, specifically. 21 was, she was, really was that girl. She really seriously was that girl. I'm so excited. Y'all, look. The album that really made me reinvent myself was... um. I love this. Was James Arthur item? That's all my thing. Um, I, I'm going to do a story time about that. I'm going to have to leave out some serious parts. No, I'm going to leave out... I'm going to leave an auto raunchy part. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, but I'm going to say it on a members only. So thank you so much, Banner. Woo! All right, y'all. Um, and Banner, these for you if you're watching. All right. And take your pencils and pans out and your notebooks. Can we, uh, and maybe y'all not, but I got a question. Are y'all peed old out? <laughs> Are y'all pedo trafficked out? It's hot topic gossip and news, but the, I think what's frustrating is that in the black community, the only reason why P. Diddy and all of this stuff is making news is because he was allegedly sleeping with men and not the other parts. And that's just how I feel. That really is just how I feel. I feel like they would have let this keep going on for a long time. And somebody had said something. I cannot remember who it was. And it wasn't y'all, but y'all did partake in it. And you look at yourself in shame in the mirror tonight. Someone was like, so what's that girl we was just talking about her, y'all? And she don't get invited to stuff anymore? Oh, what's her name? No, I can't remember her name. Hold on. Amanda Seals. They was talking about how Amanda Seals couldn't get invited to things because she's a nasty person and she's so um she's so mean and people don't want to be around her because she's so nasty. But P. Diddy get to be around people. And allegedly, people have been knowing about this stuff since the 90s, allegedly. And so y'all. Y'all would rather invite, well, one, that's misogyny and patriarchy at its best, but I'm not going to go down that road today. It's too early in the morning. Um, So y'all, people are like, oh, well, Amanda Seals is so mean, but we'll take somebody who's putting stuff in people's drinks and allegedly, you know, sleeping with every single person that is known to man. I just can't get jiggy with this anymore. <laughs> I really seriously can't. And I'm outdone. I really am outdone. I really seriously, I'm outdone. And now it, the, it's more so the stuff that they talk about with, with regards to whether, you know, his uh, daddy sexuality, more than the stuff that, like, y'all, if he was doing some of the stuff that the people said that he was doing, that's so dangerous. And the stuff that uh, our community, I saw a whole video last night, 14 minutes, uh, they saying, D P Diddy saying sus stuff.
Yeah. People be so mad about the word be, people being gay than they do if they a pedo. And it's really weird to me. It's so weird to me. Y'all rather, rather have somebody around y'all putting drinks, um, putting stuff in y'all drinks, allegedly, than you would someone who's just a nasty person? That's weird. They've been giving this man awards, key to the city, and they're like, well, I made the sales is mean. Where are our morals? You have no scruples. <laughs> I can't get jiggy with this. Either way, we gonna talk about it because the people want to talk about it. But I just wanted to start with that. Like, are, are we not bored? Are we not tired? And are y'all seeing the same exact thing that I'm seeing? I want to know. Put it in the comments. Black people only. If you white, sit tight. Your 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 part is coming up. Cause, oh, cause I got some stuff to say about y'all. White, sit tight. But if you black, how, tell me how y'all feel about this stuff right now. Y'all feel like the outrage is more so because he may identify as bisexual. And, and y'all know in the black community, the girls hate their gays. They hate the gays. It's the gays. That's The gay word is more dangerous than if you were touching children or uh, selling them off to grownups. That, being gay is way more dangerous than... <laughs> Putting uh, pills in people's drinks or telling people that something is something else and it's not. And then you wake up and your clothes are off. Uh, being gay is more dangerous than that. I'm just saying. That's kind of what it sounds like. They say he did this. He shot some lady in the face. All of that's okay. But he's sleeping with men a lot. The God put him in jail. Jail. Girls are, girls are weird out here. Y'all weird. Let's get to this company business. This actually isn't company business. But I want to know y'all take on this because this put this lady in jail too. <laughs> put this lady in jail too. Y'all saw this video and I said arrest. Immediately arrest her. Immediately arrest her. I was on her side and then I saw the photos. Okay, let's let's let me share the screen. And y'all, please put it in the comments. Y'all normally do. If y'all cannot hear it. Oh, my God. I had a nightmare where I was trying to share stuff for a long time and no sound would go. I need to stop doing YouTube. Guys, I just finished my date. And I am so embarrassed. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to um, clean myself up a little bit. He came. He came. And so the whole thing is we went to this restaurant he wanted to go to. And it was a little too expensive, but I, I don't know. I asked my sister for money. So we went. I had this, like, I had this dress on. And I changed because I just I had this dress on and everything. And I had my hair out. Like, you know, guys, I cut it. But it wasn't like this. I had it parted a little bit. And... So I went in and he was like looking around like, oh, like he was looking for somebody else. And I was like, okay, I'm like, hey, I'm Tia. Hey, and it's me, girl. Like, Tia. Oh, like, yeah, it's for me from BLK. And then we, he was like looking confused and he told me to sit down. So I sat down. I smiled and he didn't smile back at me. And then he was like, I don't look like my pictures. I do look like my pictures. I don't Photoshop any. <clears throat> can we take a poll can we <laughs> just quickly and then I'm going to show y'all what she wore to the date because I was thinking you look like these pictures wait put it in the comments before we go does she look like the pictures yes or no so I'm going to say kind of if I'm going to put my vote in there, I'm going to say kind of. But y'all put, <coughs> put y'all vote in. Does she look like the pictures? Yes or no? Keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just died. I do look like my pictures. I don't Photoshop anything. I tell everything how it is. I, I'm going to insert out of the end of the video the picture I put in. 
and he was like you know just being so quiet through the meal and all that he didn't even want to pay i said hey i didn't bring my money with me and then he eventually paid and then now he cashed he he sent me a request to pay for the food <laughs> and that's not i just don't understand why are men like this men are evil and this is no shade to the grub because men are cruel men are evil i hate to say that i am one. Oh, it makes me so upset I want to just start identifying as barely here. <laughs> when people ask me as that, what I identify, I want to say barely here. Barely here. I identify as barely here, girl. I hate to say I'm a man because my God, men are just, they're just, they just really are mean and nasty. Y'all want to see what she looked at, what she looked like on the date? Let me see. Y'all want to see what she looked like on the date? I'm going to show it to y'all whether if I had to see it, y'all had to see it too. Look at that lady. Jail, jail, immediate jail, jail. You go ahead and jail, 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 jail. jail. <laughs> she need to go to jail. You go to jail, jail, jail. Her picture was this. Picture was this. Showed up looking like this. And they said men are evil. Girl, and so are you. Jail. Immediately. She's going to jail. She has to go to jail. She has, she has we have no choice but to put her in jail. Lock her up. <laughs> Somebody said, men are honest is the caption. To be honest, what is this? Girl, you're a liar. You need to go to jail. You're a liar and you need to go to jail. Um, now let's get on to, you know, everything that the people talk about, the pedos, they're so famous. Um, this is going to be a, um, a company, um, oh, I need to go get my computer. Um, this is going to be a company introduction, um, video for now on. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this being a company introduction video. Also, let me say something. Let me say two things. And y'all not going to like this and a lot of people won't care because I'm starting to learn that people don't watch the show anymore, but I do. Dr. Adams, you need your ass beat because the way that you had me effed up last night on Grace Anatomy really made me upset. And I saw the ending and uh, uh, clearly you coming back. But if you don't, I wouldn't be upset. And then also, why are people not even watching Grace Anatomy? That really like concerning to me. They don't have they have a new cast. They had a recast. And these new interns really kind of are it. Like, they really kind of are it. And I heard that this is about to be a 10-episode season. When we start doing that for Grey's Anatomy, my head all cockeyed and stuff. I mean, cock to the side. When did they start doing 10-episode seasons for Grey? Well, I guess it was the writer's draw. Oh, yeah. We got to compensate for that. Oh, man. We got to compensate for that. And it is mad late. Oh, because so, this way it would be up before the summer. It is 10 episodes. Either way, Dr. Adams, you need your speed, okay? And I want to fight you for it. I was so upset last night. I was so mad at Dr. Um, um, Adams last night. I was so upset. I, uh, to be honest, I was upset at I was upset at Dr. Adams, but, but I was really more embarrassed for Dr. Levi. <laughs> I mean, Dr. Levi, but I was really upset for Levi. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Y'all saw in there. <laughs> Let me not say no spoilers because I don't review the show, but if y'all watch Grey's Anatomy, y'all know who these people are. Child, Levi, that was embarrassing. That really was embarrassing. I'm sorry, it was embarrassing. It really was embarrassing. Um, Sunshine, Sunshine said, I didn't know it was back on. That's what my mama said. And then, but she still watches the show like I do. So then she was like, well, I'm going to binge it. Lady, it's three episodes right now. So I'm, <laughs> I'm about to binge it. You're going to binge it? It's three episodes. 
Oh, older people kill me. I love my mama. So some of y'all are watching it. Maybe I'll come. I'm not going to do reviews on it. So don't get your hopes up. Um, But I'll be wanting to talk about it. I got Tay the Bay into it. And now we watch it together. I love Grey's Anatomy. I really do. Um, But let's go to the, the stuff that the people are talking about. And we'll move on from there. Um, when I go get my computer. I want to talk about this. Hold on. Regular girl. So if you're not a regular girl, you're an Instagram baddie. I mean, hair done, nails done, everything did. Men just give you money for being pretty. They just want to look at you. <laughs> Your conversation is what gets you paid. It's this isn't for you. This isn't for you. This is for the that clock in and clock out. <laughs> Let me tell you something. City girls down 10, regular up 20. All right. These hoes want you to believe that men are just giving them large sums of money because they're pretty. It's just because I'm pretty. <laughs> I didn't see not many a bad in my life and never wanted to fund nobody's lifestyle just to look at you. I just want some of you soft life to be honest about your lives actually being super hard. Okay. All right. This whole, I, I'm just in my femininity. I'm just bad. I'm just bad. And men just give me money. Yes. Okay. All right. Young Miami said that she gets $500,000 a month just because she bad. Just because she act bad. She real bad. Turns out she was selling that word. Whipping that word. Selling that white girl. Working a full-time shift at Diddy sex party. Twist this nipple. LinkedIn. Do it. That's work. That's work. Hey, regular b after you get off work and before you pick up your kid, go ahead and loosen that waist trainer and get you a whopper, okay? These hoes aren't giving you the full formula. Talk about, yes, yeah, six squats, 13 burpees, and crack cocaine. Add that part. Crack. Crap. So if you starting to second guess yourself, you know, scrolling's got you feeling pretty shitty. Well, every time I post, I only get 37 likes, you know? I don't get my nails done all the time. I'm trying to put myself through school. I work a nine to five. Maybe nobody's checking for me. Maybe nobody's not. You know who ain't checking for me? You know who not checking for me? He's a fed. I'm about to go to Ross, come back to a clean house, light a candle, get in the bed, rub my feet together like a cricket, and celebrate my freedom. What, what are you guys doing today? This video is for the regular. And that's what we got to show, y'all. Please let me know. Put it in the comments. Is that something that y'all think that we should put in the handbook for the trainings when the people get here? Because this is a job, okay? Being regular is just okay, okay? And she trying to act like, oh, I just get it. When she said, lick me, <laughs> I fell out. I fell out when she was saying, lick this, this, twist this, twist, twist. I fell out, y'all. Girl. <laughs> And then, oh, 20 burpees. Yo, girl, you, you are forgetting the crack. You're forgetting the crack cocaine, sis. <laughs> she not giving y'all the real remedies, okay? So if you only get 20 likes, that means you, you know who not checking for you? The feds, okay? And let's keep it like that. When I said I die, okay, so the people said start to include it. <laughs> Who's not looking for me? The feds, the feds, Okay. This video must be okay. So we we're gonna make sure that we put it in the handbook for the training, y'all. So I'm gonna make sure we put it in the handbook for the training. Let's get off of her. Who are we going to next? Um, speaking of, and I don't know too much about the story, but when I say me and my friends had a field day last night, a field day. So apparently, Daphne is one of 50 Cent's baby mothers. Um, I don't look at 50 Cent. This is what's very hard for me. Oh. And I'm going to say this, and I'm going to take it back probably later on in the future. I don't think 50 Cent is a mean person. Sue me. I think he play too much. I don't think he's a mean person. <clears throat> but as a father and a partner, you got to be out of your mind. Girl, I didn't. Now, I didn't say I would date him or send my daughter to them, okay? But I don't. I really don't think he's a trash human being. I think if 50 Cent saw the wrong thing happening, he would talk about it. I don't think he would tell on someone, but I think he would talk about it. But he plays so much that people feel like he's playing. Anyway, outside of that, it seems like Daphne was his girlfriend, baby mama, something. Now, what, now, now we're listening to what she's saying Nah, who knows what's the real tale, tall tale, okay? Um, because I didn't know how many people be at the Diddy Mansions. This is getting out of control. Do they have space for me? My God. So they not together anymore. She says that they got closer. Oh, I should bring up his tweet. 
Because 50 Cent play too much. Um, She says this. Let me read it, y'all. He said, everything is a joke to you until our safety is compromised, which is happening now. You are wrecking real life, real havoc, frenzy, and chaos onto people's lives, which no shade to you, lady, but I think that P. Diddy did that all by himself. And just, you said what? You lost my mic. Oh, I, I wasn't talking into the mic. I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, I wasn't talking into the mic. Sorry, hold on, y'all. Let me make sure this mic is even on. It is. <clears throat> uh, and first of all, I feel like what's crazy is that Diddy's ruined everybody's lives. And a P. Diddy's, I mean, um, 50 Cent is just, you know, along for the ride. Um, how would you feel if Sire was one of the in one of the handcuffs for nothing? You, I'm, we moved to New York to give you the opportunity to be a father to your son. And you saw him 10 times out of the two years that we lived one mile away from you. I'm tired of upholding and uh, protecting an image to our son that has never, he's, uh, you've never earned. Lady, if he only came around 10 times, what, what image are you protecting? Because when the children get older, the children will speak and the children will know. That's why I, because, you know, I, I clearly I hang around more um, women, but I be hating that the women have to go through all of these years. And I hate when my friends are always like, you know what? They'll see when they get older. You have to go through 18, sometimes 20 something years for your child to finally be like, mom, you did that. Mom, you really did that. And that sucks. And put your bees in the comments for the single mothers <laughs> who out here working because you got to put in mad years before your child is like, you know what? You really did hold it down for us. Lady, what are you protecting? Y'all been there for uh, uh, how long? And he only seen him 10 times? I think your son knows. Let's put real face it, uh, focus on your tr your true evil actions and aring me and physically abusing me. You are no longer my oppressor, and my God will handle you to um, from this point. I mean, you may be in jail. That's what they say. Um, no shade. Um, you have permanently damaged the last hope I had for you as a father to pers um to preserve your family with these uh. Last and final false claims um, made against me. You have broken our hearts, and for the last and final time. Now the thing is, she they said she's telling her truth. I'm gonna believe her because I believe the victims until the victims believe. Tell me not to, unless you Jesse Smollett. I don't even believe he walked outside. If he said he was out, if I saw him walking outside, because I don't know where his mind is. Um. <clears throat> so from that. She also said that she is deeply hurt by the lies in Rodney Jones's lawsuit. The claims that she is the S worker is a hundred percent false and character assassination, and that she's retaining an attorney to explore legal uh, remedies against both Rodney and the attorney. Girl, how you gonna sue the attorney? You suing the attorney because um, Rodney suing? That don't make no sense. Her probation officer about to be her about <laughs> Y'all are so unserious. Y'all are so unserious. Okay. Next, I don't know how y'all feel about that. Oh, <clears throat> and I did not um, send this to myself. Let me just go to his tweet since I'm on Twitter. Um, This is what 50 Cent had to say, y'all. I feel like I liked it, but that would have been very trash of me to do so. So let's see, because I know he put it out yesterday. <clears throat> 50 Cent had this response to what she said. He said, you moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back, and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now, here we are, you little S worker. Brains on cognac. 
leche in me, my my mind. You are, I don't know, but he said, "Girl, you lying to the public, and you need to shut up." <clears throat> Yikes! All right, next story up. I'm man. I'm gonna have to get off of here. Um, next story up is for the white. The white people come back because I I told y'all to sit back. This is the next story up. Jetsy Rose has announced that she is separated from her husband, and unfortunately, she is going through separation and she's moving back with her parents. This is my whole thing. And this is no shade to Gypsy Rose or the mother. And y'all, if, for those who don't know, Gypsy Rose Blanchard was um, under the care of a woman who had, um, oh, what is it called? What is it called? It's something by proxy. Munchausen's, where, you know, the attention that she gets or receives from the mother being, uh, from the daughter being sick or whatever was really what kept the mom afloat. Also, she was just like a chronic liar, a serial liar and everything. Child, she said, um, so um, Jitsi Rose, she could walk the whole time. They said she couldn't walk. She could walk. She was smart. She knew how to talk. She knew how to do everything herself. But the mother had her keep up this lie. Gypsy was so done with it that she had her boyfriend come in and kill the mother. Okay, did it, and they both went to jail. Um, I think he's like still gonna be in jail, but she's out. This is no shade. But if you were the father, would you let her come and live with you? Because remember, Gypsy Rose didn't live with the daddy, he lived with the mama. And I mean, he she didn't live with the daddy. She lived with the mama and the mother was keeping the dad from Gypsy. Not even telling her that he's calling nothing like that. But. You a parent killer. Do you let her come and live with you? Child, if I tell you, you can't go out tonight. I mean, she mad grown. So I guess what real. Um. He's in prison for like with, with oh that man is in prison life without parole. That's real sad. Doing that for that gra. But what would the daddy do? Why is the if y'all was her paying her daddy, would you let her in? Cause I'm saying no, no, no. I'm saying no, no, no. But she's going through a separation and now she's living with her parents. What if this was a part two and she was like, if you really loved me, you will fight for me. And you know what to do. Cause and now she with a set of new parents. I just can't get jiggy with that. And I don't know why I can't stop saying getting jiggy with. It's really bothering me. This is the last story, and I'm about to get off of here because I got work to do that I really want to do. This the last thing. Do I want to bring up this? I guess I'll bring up the way inside. Somebody said Jay Campbell said he better make sure uh she ain't on oh, oh, his life insurance policy. To be honest, she because then maybe she may be doing part two. This next story, and y'all can send this to him, but he know it already. This next story is specifically for House of Aaron. This next story is specifically for the House of Aaron. What is your fave doing? So everybody was excited, but uh, Portia Williams is coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Who said that? Portia Gabadia is in the building. Uh, Simon Gabadia said you can't even enter the building. Okay, yeah, y'all know that this Portia and Simon beef has just been going back and forth, back and forth. And you know what? And I was listening to Forest Rocks talk about it. I want to not laugh at her demise. Because at some point, I did feel like it was a true love. So I was like, okay, well, maybe she really did find her prince. Because all of the stuff that he did to um, the old girl that he divorced, he's doing the same things to Portia. Like, it was almost like she is getting exactly the same Simon. And old girl was telling us, like, this is who he is. He's this mean. He's not a nice person. He will kick you out or put you on your back. All of that stuff. And Portia thought it was funny. This is my husband. She was dancing for him, doing all of this stuff. And 
Now he's doing the exact same stuff to you. Well, it looks like Simon Gobadia has sent a cease and desist and demands that Portia stop the Real Housewives of Atlanta filming at his home. What I thought was really weird is that her name not even on the lease. Y'all, let's look into these documents. It says Simon Gobadia doesn't want Portia filming the Real Housewives of Atlanta in their marital home. Page six can um, exclusively reveal that the entrepreneur sent a cease and desist letter to True Entertainment, the production company behind the Bravo reality series, on Thursday to demand it stops filming at his house amid divorce from returning uh, cast member Portia Williams. The legal letter obtained by page six states that Guabadia is the sole owner of of his Georgia home and as such does not consent to the release, disclosure, or publication of any photograph of the property, nor does he consent to the taping, filming, or recording of the property, including any aspects of any activity in or about the property. Guabadia 59 attached a copy of the deed as evidence, and it does not. Uh, and Williams, 42, does not have a stake in the nearly $7 million home, which he purchased in November of 2021. Failure to comply with the request hereon will result in Mr. Gobadia taking legal action accordingly. Accordingly, the letter continues, reps for true entertainment didn't immediately return pay six requests for comment. Y'all. Why would you not even put your house on the D? <laughs> not let her uh, <laughs> conventional be from her front porch. And to be honest, they be taking that stuff seriously. Do y'all remember when Sheree couldn't even film inside of her own home or by her own home? Even when it, they had, um, she was on Iyanla Fix My Life. She because she didn't have rights to the home, she couldn't even go on the property. You can't fit on me, you can't be there. And Simon said, Not on my watch, not on my watch. Child, this is sad. How y'all think House of Aaron is taking this? How y'all think the House of Aaron is taking this? <laughs> he gonna be so mad at me y'all let's get out of here i want to thank each and every person who came into this morning me that i really seriously do appreciate it make sure that you put your comments down um into the comment section make sure that you like go back today is beyonce album release day but also if you have time after you listen to that 70 track uh album go to one of my old videos and just watch it and comment Okay, that's your job for today because you two playing and I don't understand. Outside of that, do y'all think that lady need to go to jail for lying to that man about what she look like? Do Are y'all tired of the pedos and do y'all think that the black community, blacks only, do y'all think that the black community is only doing this because he's gay and not because, or, that, or he may sleep with men, I say he's gay, he may sleep with men and not because he was doing all of that other stuff. Do y'all think that that's why it's so salacious, which is killing me? Uh, if y'all was um Gypsy Rose parent, would y'all let her come to sleep to live with y'all? God, you wouldn't be able to be even by my house. You better send me a text message and let me know where you are. Um, and how y'all feel about Portia being treated the same way the ex-wife was treated? Sounds weird to me. Y'all, I appreciate y'all so much. If y'all all want to know more about me and everything else I have going on, you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter, Busy Blue, no space, no E. You can also find me on Twitch, Busy Blue, where this should definitely be streaming right now. I hope everybody has a happy Friday. They say it's holy something. Happy holy that. Um, I'm about to go get busy, and you all stay busy. Until right. next time.